aviation is all about. It's, it's a whole different world. The minute you pull the gears and you get into another atmosphere, you have to be ahead of the thing that's taking you where you are. Those are the tools that I'm talking about, being sharper than a tool. Get about it and see what it is that you have to do to get the, the flight up and down. Tuskegee uh, graduates, after all the struggle and all the research and all the negative things that were said about black people and their ability to fly, we knew the answer before we started because we had our tools shown. We were college graduates. We had from previous aviation training. So it was designed for us to be successful, yes. not to be non-successful. <laughs> now let me tell you, and I can be the first one to witness this, somebody's out there to make you non-successful. Yes. Yeah, and I think, I, I say it to myself and I say it to my children all the time, I think we're endowed by God, by having a special sense. You can tell people. You can sense people who are not in your company. Yes. And, and all of our lives, we've been trying to get people in our corner. These children don't have to have it in their corner anymore. They just now have the opportunity. All they have to do is to take advantage of the sharpening of the tool, the education laid out there for you, and march on to do whatever they have to do. So uh, it's a whole different world. But we as adults got to encourage that. Amen. And I heard uh, tonight that encouragement. Amen. It was not easy for the Master Show Morning to put this program together. But the meaning that it really, really depicted talked about us, Amen. talked about our success yes. in life. Amen. And there's all that success that's waiting to come right out in the future. So continue to encourage and continue to be. As you know, we've trained 994 pilots at Tuskegee. And then we had a young fellow who had just graduated from West Point. In those days, they didn't really know what to do with black officers because we could almost count them on our hands. As all of you know, and some of you who served in the service know, that all of our leaders years and years ago, from 41 up to 46, were white. But we were the ones that made the operation go. That isn't the truth anymore. Because somebody touched the president and eradicated and segregated military. So every time today, regardless of where he is and what he's doing, what branch has an opportunity to be the leader of that branch. And that's why I was so proud of my dad in Washington a couple of three days, a weeks ago with the inauguration. Even though it was miserable, it was cold, but it made me feel warm inside. And about three million people had that same feeling. We're warm inside because we know now that it can be done. We can do it. We can do it. Now, all of us know that we have some little traits that uh, sometimes I call the crap syndrome. <laughs> that as we get up out of the basket, there's always someone up there to grab you and bring you down. But I think that is dying out now. I think we will realize that togetherness we can conquer the world. And we can do anything that we want to do. And I, I, I repeat that so much because I want our young people to understand and know that there are no limits when you have an opportunity. Because the opportunity, it belongs to you. And if you're dedicated and you're so concentrated to be who you are and to be an accomplished person, you can. And as I said, the way you get this, it's so sharp you do this. And how do you do that? You do that through our educational process. And we criticize that. Sometimes it doesn't do as much as we expect. But for 
God said to that us, 